Um, in Phoenix, Arizona at a dance studio. I started off at Betty Johnson School of Dance and then moved the last year of high school to Dance Connection and it was it was the best, man. Studio is like your family. It's your second home that you go to where you get to do what you love and escape and have your friends and I loved that. I started dancing uh, at the age of three. First ballet, then tap, then jazz. And then I took flamenco basically took everything, you know, from ballet to modern to hip-hop. So I think it's really important to be well-rounded as a dancer because you never know what kind of job you're going to get. And if you have special qualities, special skills, you can book that job. So it's the way to do it. I learned to dance at White Oak Dance Academy in Warrensburg, Missouri, and also would travel a couple times a week to Blue Springs because there was a bigger studio there of White Oak Dance Academy. And I did a lot of competition conventions, and through the competitions I would get a lot of scholarships to New York. So in the summers we would all fly out there and take class all day long at the Joffrey, at Steps on Broadway, and Broadway Dance Center. I learned to dance uh, through Pussycat Dolls, actually. I'm, one of, I'm the only member within the Pussycat Dolls who's not a trained dancer. And it has presented some challenges for me, but all of the girls have been very supportive, and they're very patient also, and they help me with choreography, so. That's where I learned to dance. Sometimes I've been noticing a particular move that I get into when I'm singing and really into my performance or really into like the moment on stage. I do this jumping around thing where I get real excited and instead of just standing there, I'm always like standing strong, just strong as can be. But instead of just standing there, I get really excited and I start to hop and then I start to do this whole like running thing. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> And uh, also, there's a part in our show called Sunny Think, um, Show Us What You Got. It's a little spun song that me and my friend Polo wrote for the girls on tour to, for everyone to show us what they got and to show us, you know, their little dance move. My dance move is kind of funny. It's kind of goofy. I don't take myself too serious. It's, um, I kind of do a little faux Tahitian hip move, and then I do a booty pop, booty pop, pop, booty pop, pop. So, I like the booty pop and I like the chest pumpage. That's, uh, that's a lot of fun. People think that we're doing, when I grow up, uh, I want to be famous, I want to be a star, I want to be a movie, when I grow up, I want to see the world, drive nice cars, I want to have groupies. It's people think we're saying group boobies, but we're really saying groupies, so. I would say Chris Farley was definitely a big influence in my life, and um, all the girls will definitely back me up on this. I love his, like, move that he does in um, Tommy Boy. Yeah, that's one of my favorites, so I'll call that my dance move. Signature dance move, I really love salsa dancing. So I do like a salsa thing. Yeah, I did it in Stick with You. And um, I like to move my hips. So a hip twist twirly do. Yes, my leg is my signature dance move. If you haven't seen it, then you haven't seen the Pussycat Dolls. I don't know if I have a signature dance move, honestly. I just... I mean, I think I'm really good at the pop. It's like, I, I have like a, a grimy pop, booty pop. I don't have like a clean put together, like it's all raw with me. You just call me raw dog, or raw cat. <laughs> 